I feel like every intro ever to Amazon favorites videos are exactly the same. Everyone knows how obsessed everyone is with Amazon. Okay, so let's just get into it. I love Amazon. You probably love Amazon if you're watching this video and you're looking for some ideas. So I don't like to repeat any products that I've mentioned in past Amazon favorites videos. And I also tried to find things and talk about things that I haven't heard a lot in other videos. If you're new here, I have a handful of other Amazon favorites videos that I'll link down below. One specific on travel and then a bunch of just lifestyle random ones like we're doing today. And I'm excited for today's Amazon favorites because I've got some good stuff here and I've got an energy drink. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cheers. This is quite necessary today. I literally feel like I could fall asleep any second before chugging half of this. So thank you. Alani New. Amazon is obviously super convenient and you can find a lot of really great affordable products on there, but it's also good to try and support small businesses too. So I recently did an Etsy favorites video. So if you wanna know my current favorites and products I recommend from small businesses, I'll link that video linked in the eye and down below so you can go watch that. Sip and then let's get into Amazon favorites. Grab your beverage, grab your snack, here we go. All right, so the first thing I wanna mention is this Kumbaya, does it say Kumbaya? No. Kumba made Persian garden fragrance oil. It's a perfume oil, so it has a little roller ball. You roll it on wherever you want it. And I found this because I was searching for dupes for one of my favorite perfumes, the Glossier U perfume, and just other perfumes and fragrances that smelled similar to this. And I absolutely love the smell of this. However, I don't think it smells like Glossier U. It's definitely not a dupe for Glossier U, but it is an exact dupe for one of my favorite fragrances, which is the Pinrose Pillow Talk Poet. Literally sniffing them one next to the other, you cannot tell a difference. I do think these are almost all in like the same family. Like if you like Glossier U, I do think you would love Pinrose Pillow Talk Poet. They have a really similar kind of powdery musk. I love musky fragrances. This isn't incredibly long lasting on my skin. I do find that I have to reapply it after about four hours. So the way I like to use this is just if I'm running errands. I'm not gonna be out all day or I don't wanna smell super perfumey. Like I just want a hint of a really nice scent. I'll put this on. Next up are socks. And before you click off, because <laughs> socks are not the most exciting topic, these are the best no-show socks I've found so far. I actually got these off recommendation from my friend, The Court Report on Instagram. And these are my second box of these. I wanted to show you what it looks like, how it comes in the box, even though I already took out one <laughs> white one here. But you obviously get four colors, two pairs in each color. I'm just gonna take one of these guys out so you can see what I love about these. I've tried a lot of different no-show socks and I have very small feet. So I'm a size women's four and a lot of them just fall right off my heel. But even if you don't have weirdly small feet, this would still be great. But basically they have this really nice, super tight part right here where the fabric is like a little bit different. And then the heel grip has this really nice tight fabric where it's not uncomfortable. And it does have a little bit of the sticky, you know, heel grip kind of thing that most no-show socks have on the inside but it's not up top. Up top, it's just like really tight fabric. I've worn these on long walks. They don't come off my heel. They don't show for any of my like little low kind of shoes. I really don't like when socks show out of your shoes, especially if you're wearing like, you know, like the Nike Air Force Ones or that kind of look. I just don't like seeing the sock coming out. So these are super nice quality, great if you want no-show socks that you can also work out in. As soon as I realized how much I love these, I just got rid of all my other random no-show socks. And now I solely wear these and this is my second box. So, you know, I love them. All right, next I have a notebook. I'm a total like notebook collector. I have a lot of notebooks. I really enjoy notebooks. As a kid, I had like 45 diaries. Comment down below if that's you. First off, this notebook, not only is the pattern obviously very cute, it has the soft touch front, which I just love. I love a good soft touch. This was $5 and I feel like for the quality of this and how big it is, that's a really good price. I was expecting this to be a lot smaller. I didn't actually look at the size. I love how large this is and the inside has pure white paper. It's one of my pet peeves when notebooks don't have pure white paper, like if they're like the yellowish white super specific and something probably no one else cares about but i love that these are pure white and it's just nice lined paper it doesn't lay flat so if that's something that bothers you like this one you know has the binding where it won't fully lay flat that doesn't bother me as much but this is just really cute notebook if you're a student if you're not a student i just like to use it for random things like to-do lists if i'm reading i take notes 
jot down those thoughts and emotions, you know? Okay, next up is a wallet. And I actually have two different colors here. And I'm mentioning this specifically for a guy in your life, but obviously any gender can use this. It's just because my boyfriend already has this wallet. He's owned this wallet for at least two years now. I think it might be closer to three years he's had this exact wallet. It's starting to get kind of worn down, so I just wanted to repurchase it for him. And this is the Nomadic brand wallet. I actually have two colors here. They sent the wrong shade at first. They sent the gray one, but I actually ordered the black, so now I'm... Whoa. So now I'm gonna be returning the gray one, but I figured since I have both colors, I might as well show you guys. I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging because I'm giving it to him. So basically these are pull tab wallets, and this is super cool because all you do is put your cards directly in here, you pull this out, and then your cards come out and you can grab a card. They have a little example card in here, so when you push the card back down, it just forces the tab back down. So if you have someone in your life that doesn't like carrying a wallet or that just wants something super sleek, or maybe you do, this would be a good gift or just for yourself, but the design of this is just very minimal. My boyfriend loves this thing. Like I said, he's had it for a few years and it lasts him that long, even though it's just like pretty affordable and it's just like a simple kind of material. I actually really like the gray one. I'm kind of debating keeping the gray one for myself because I also don't love having like a big bulky wallet sometimes, especially if I'm just going on a walk or something and I'm just carrying like a jacket. Sometimes I just put my cards directly into my jacket. So it'd kind of be nice to have something super slim like this. So I might keep this one actually at the gray. All right, so next favorite are these Amazon leggings. These are so soft, but not like the gross kind of soft. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but sometimes they're like warm soft. These are just perfect for working out in. They're very comfortable and super high-waisted, but they're not like digging in up here. I'm 4'11", so most leggings are too long on me. They like bunch at the bottom, so I either have to get the 7 8 one or get like capris, and then they're in this kind of like in-between length. So that's kind of what these ones are. I mean, they're a little bit in-between. I love the color. I don't have leggings this color yet, and they are a good price. Okay, this is probably the thing that I personally am most excited about because it's just made my my medicine life so much easier. So this is a giant pill case, but what's super cool about this is not only do I love the black and white design, but what's super cool about this is that you have four weeks. So you have a whole month worth of pills organized in here. And what I also love is that you can take it out. It's not like glued in there. So if you're going on a trip or something, or if you just wanna keep one week on your nightstand at a time, that's what I like to do so you don't have this giant pill thing on there. You can just take one week out at a time. And what's super great is you can just, you know, spend five minutes, organize all your pills for the month, and you don't have to do it every single week. That's something that would always put me off from pill cases in the past. I just don't like doing that every single week. I would have rather just grabbed it straight out of the pill container, so that's what I was doing. But with this thing, you can just do four weeks at a time, take one out, and you're good to go. They also do have other colors of this. I think they have a couple bright colors, and they also have a white with black font, and it has a nice actual snap closure right there. If you do plan on traveling this or something, you can just throw this whole thing in your bag. Okay, I lied. This might be the thing I'm most excited about, or this is a close second. So I discovered a self-tanner on Amazon that is non-toxic, organic ingredients, and it's around 17 bucks. That's about half the price of my other favorite tanners, like Loving Tan, Bondi Boost. It's cruelty-free. It has argan oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, rosehip oil. So it's super affordable. But the thing I love about this is that I feel like the color, especially if you have fair skin, is just such a nice natural but still deep undertone. But I have a lot of caveats with this product. If you're not interested in self-tanner, I'm gonna leave the time on the screen to fast forward to right here because I do wanna give a little bit of an actual like review with this product. If you wanna see what it looks like on, I just used it in a recent glow up routine kind of video. I showed applying it, what it looks like initially, and then what it looks like the next day. But basically this is a foaming tanner. It says on the back of here to leave it on for an hour. Don't listen to that. You'll have like no color if you leave it on for an hour. I actually like to leave this on overnight and that gives a really nice color for me. But what I like is that this is one of the most even streak-free formulas I've ever found. A lot of self-tanners don't stick to a couple spots on my legs. This one looks totally streak-free on me. When this one fades, it does get quite scaly looking. So once it gets to that point, I just like to fully remove it and get it off. I use the Bondi Sands 
tan remover and then I'll just like scrub it off. I did a TikTok on how I like to remove self tanner super easily. So I'll link that down below if you wanna see that. My TikTok's just TaylorWin with underscore at the end. Love how even this one is and the color. And this one is like wearable for me if I don't wanna necessarily look like I just got back from vacation, you know, but I just want a little bit of color. You can also do two layers if you want this like extra deep or just do two days back to back, put it on two nights in a row. It dries down nicely, doesn't smell bad. It does have a color guard when you first put it on. So, so it will give you a super pretty olive color when you first put it on, but that's just a color guard. So once you shower the next morning, that will wash off and then you'll be left with your actual tan underneath. And along those lines to self tan my back, I've been using this guy. So this is from Amazon. It's basically a thing where you can kind of like go around and get your back like this if you don't have someone to self tan your back at the moment. You can do it yourself. So you just put the foam either on your back or on here and then kind of shimmy and get it all mixed in. You kind of have to like hunt your back sometimes or I do to get it like under. This makes it so much easier and especially with that formula my back looked like someone else applied it. Like I thought for sure my back was gonna be streaky and it doesn't streak at all. I don't know how they do it, but for some reason I had been putting off buying one of these for like years and I finally did and it's a game changer for self tanning. All right, next up we have something that I didn't realize I needed and I didn't realize how much it would up my matcha game. I would have done this years ago if I realized this thing actually uh, does something. So this is a matcha whisk. Comes in a little set, you get like a spoon and then I have no idea what this thing does, okay. Maybe it like breaks up the matcha batter, I don't know. But this whisk is the game changer. If you're someone who makes matcha lattes or matcha tea at home, I showed exactly how I make my iced matcha lattes in a recent vlog. So if you wanna know my exact recipe and how I do it, I'll link that video in the eye and down below. But this is just a little, I'm pretty sure it's a bamboo whisk and it just whisks the matcha so great there's no chunky powder i don't know why they don't use this at starbucks because i feel like every time i get a matcha latte from starbucks there's always like the green powder at the bottom of the cup so this is the little set you just put your matcha in pour some water and you want to use a little bowl go in with the whisk and that's it this gets all the little matcha powdery clumps so that your matcha is super smooth and not powdery and then you just rinse this off in water next up is this deck of cards called the air deck and i just think this is such a great gift idea if you know someone who really likes playing cards you could get them a couple of these because the design is just so modern and minimal and i love it but they're also waterproof which was a big selling point for me because my boyfriend and i and both of our families are like total game people so whenever we're on a trip with them we always play cards. Sometimes it's like on a pool raft or something. So I love that these are waterproof and look at how friggin' cool these are. I love the design. And when I saw these, I was like, I don't know how practical these actually are with like shuffling, but shuffling actually is totally fine. It's not any more difficult really than a big deck of cards. Like you get used to it. And here's what the back design looks like. By the way, this just made me think of Derek Delgadio's in and of itself. Worth an hour and 20 minutes of your time. It's on Hulu. It's about identity. It's really interesting, but that just reminded me because of cards. But yeah, unique gift idea or just for yourself if you want some cute cards laying around. So I got two of these because we play a game called Thousands a lot. I actually don't know if the rules are online. It's like a PDF that my mom's friends have. If I can find the rules, I'll put them down below. I recently did an essentials video, which is where I talked about all of my everyday like beauty essentials from dry shampoo, deodorant, just all of the basics. And in that video, I mentioned a Brio Geo brush, which I do really like, but I kind of mentioned how I wanted to test out other brushes and stuff. So I found this one on Amazon that had really good reviews and it's by the brand Sassoon. And it's just a flat paddle brush, retails for about $10. And by the way, anytime I'm mentioning prices, sellers on Amazon constantly change the price of stuff. So just keep that in mind. But right now when I'm filming, it's 10 bucks, which is a really good price for like a good quality brush. But it says the bristles are made of natural bristle and nylon pins to help detangle and smooth frizzy hair, reduce static and massage your scalp. And it's not as like sharp feeling as my Brio Geo brush. It is more comfortable on the scalp. But as you can see, it has these like boar bristle kind of things between the nylon pins. Also love the wood color, but I've just been really enjoying this brush. It doesn't like pull out my hair. It's very comfortable on the scalp. And if you need a new brush, I feel like it's something that you need to repurchase like every few years 
How long do your brushes last, you guys? I'm curious. Because I usually keep them until they're like falling apart. Also along those lines, I needed to get a spray bottle because I've been using the Dyson Airwrap and that works the best on my hair if it's really wet. So by the time I did one side, the other side would get a little bit too dry. So I was looking on Amazon for hair spray bottles and this is really nice because it's a continuous mist. So it kind of like continually sprays out, but it doesn't soak too much of your hair in one spot. Like it's super even, which is really nice. And I also really like using this to cut my boyfriend's hair. I've been cutting his hair since we started dating, so three years now. And I always just like have him dunk in the, under the sink. I run a very professional salon. But instead of making him dunk every five minutes now, I can just use this spray bottle, but it gets it just wet enough without having water like dripping off your hair. All right, next up, we've got a pregnancy pillow. I am not pregnant, let me just state that again i'm not pregnant i got this because i was looking up neck and back pillows and just like back pillows for more support and a lot of the reviews for this pillow specifically mentioned exactly that like using it as back support instead of just a pregnancy pillow and i've been sleeping with this pillow for i think almost four months at this point i also really love it because not only does it give me really nice support on the front and back like you can kind of curl your leg over and almost like spoon the pillow but also when i sleep for my next step i try and fall asleep sitting pretty upright and before i was having to stack literally four pillows and stack all this like sometimes i would stuff sweatshirts behind it and stuff just to get vertical enough without having everything collapse. And you can basically curve this pillow up so it's kind of sitting against the wall. It gives you a nice firm height behind too, so now I only have to put two pillows instead of literally four. So even if you're not pregnant, if you have neck, back, body issues, this kind of pillow is very comfortable to sleep with. And instead of stuffing so many pillows behind me, I used to stuff like pillows behind my back and then I would have a little like roll pillow to put behind my knees. So instead of having 5 million random pillows around me, I can just have this one big one and then I put a couple behind my neck with my hot pad. So, so it's just made the sleeping arrangement a lot more simple and I highly recommend looking into a pregnancy pillow if you have similar sleeping issues. All right, and then my last two Amazon favorites, well, technically three, because this one's like a two-in-one. I did mention in a Raves and Rejects video a couple months ago, so that's why I saved these to the end if you already saw that video. But first is this contraption that I found through TikTok. But basically this is a car tissue holder that you hang on your passenger mirror, but you can actually use it to store reusable masks in. So when you're in your car, you never forget a mask. You always have backups. These masks that I have in here, I actually really love it. It's been hard to find disposable masks for me that fit my face. Usually they're too big, but these ones come in really cute assorted colors, super affordable for 50 of them. I think it was around six or seven bucks, which is a really good price. They do still have the nose, you know, bendy thing and they fit around my face really nicely. And I love the colors you get in this set, which I'll link down below. I'm gonna link all these down below. You get that really pretty lilac color. You get like a neon green. There's the pink color. You actually get five colors. You get yellow and a blue too. So just a good, cute way to store your disposable mask. And then the other Amazon favorite that I mentioned in that video is this mini car trash can that you can just put in your cup holder, which is actually so useful. So this one is actually really nice quality. It has a pop-up top and it also came with little bags that you can put in, but this just fits in the cup holder perfectly and that way you don't have random papers all over your car. This is definitely the best quality and best looking one that I found and I like that it had the push-up top. So I've been loving this. I've been using this for, I don't know, like a couple months now. So those are all my Amazon favorites for today's video. I'm going to have everything linked down below in the description box. And it's just in order that I mentioned everything along with any other random products I talked about. If you're new here and you want to stick around, I talk about a lot of products like this in my vlogs and in other videos on my channel. So I do beauty and lifestyle content. If you want to hang out, you can subscribe if you want to, but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.